Well, good morning and welcome to this Holy Communion service that's uh, being held indoors uh, because of the situation we all find ourselves in. And uh, there are many uh, ministries actually offering Holy Communion at this time. And um, I thought that the New Christian Spiritualist Society should also offer that. Uh, we do have Holy Communion in our list of services, and we are a Christian denomination. Although we have to say that we absolutely welcome everybody and anybody, people of faith and people of no faith. Anyone who wants spiritual sustenance at any of our meetings is always very welcome. Now, um, this is quite a short uh, one because there won't be an extensive uh, Bible reading this time. Um, so I would hope that perhaps you would have uh, got yourself um, a little piece of bread, uh, a cracker, a drop of juice or a drop of wine, a water, uh, whatever uh, liquid refreshment you have, because that's all part and parcel of our communion service. Um, so uh, I will begin. And just as though we were all gathered together, because indeed we are in the spirit, in the spirit we are all gathered. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather here at this time to fulfil the commandments given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ at the Last Supper. He instructed us to do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, grant that each person may be filled with your Holy Spirit, that we may be so strengthened to follow the teachings and example he gave us. We ask that the peace and healing power created here go forth to all who stand in need, from all of us, to all of them. And we ask all these things in and through the name of our elder brother, master and teacher, Lord and Saviour, Jesus the Christ. Now, we usually have a hymn at this time, and I thought it would be very nice to have a little sing-along. And uh, my voice, <laughs> same as it was the rest of me, isn't the same as it was. But uh, in due uh, reverence and praise, I would like to sing this spiritualist song, which we have in our little blue hymn book, uh, our new Christian Spiritual Society. Spirit divine, attend our prayer and make our heart thy home. Descend with all thy gracious power. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come as the light to us reveal the truth we long to know. Reveal the narrow path of right, the way of duty show. Come as a fire and purge our hearts like sacrificial flame, till our whole souls an offering be in love's redeeming name. Come as the dove and sweetly bless this consecrated home. May barrenness rejoice to own thy fertilizing power. Come as the dove and spread thy wings, the wings of peaceful love, and let thy church on earth become blessed as thy church above. Come as the wind, O breath of God, O Pentecostal grace, come make the great salvation known why to the human race spirit divine attend our prayers make a lost world thy home descend with all thy gracious power 
O come, great spirit, come. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven the same. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and leave us not when in temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O oh God, our heavenly Father, to whom all hearts are open and all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, uh, I will give you a, a reading because this is uh, the time in our service when we would have a reading. And uh, this one is a great favourite. Um, and I, I won't read too much, uh, but it's from St Paul's letter to the Corinthians. And it's about the gifts of the Spirit. And of course, that's something that's very precious to us as spiritualists and we understand this fully exactly what he meant in depth in depth we understand and he wrote this to the church that he'd set up in Corinth and of course don't forget that at this time the churches were groups of people gathering in houses meeting places they hadn't actually built churches as such and he wrote this and this was to be read out loud to the congregation as I am reading to you now, there are distinctive varieties and distributions of endowments and gifts. And Christians, due to the power of divine grace operating in their souls by the Holy Spirit, and they vary, but the Holy Spirit remains the same. And there are distinctive varieties of service and ministration, but it is the same Lord. And there are distinctive varieties of operation, but it is the same God who inspires and energises them all in all. But to each one is given the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for good and profit. To one is given in and through the Holy Spirit a message of wisdom, and to another a word of knowledge and understanding according to the same Holy Spirit. To another, faith by the same Holy Spirit, to another, the extraordinary powers of healing by the one spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophetic insight. To another, the ability to discern and distinguish between spirits. To another, various kinds of unknown tongues. To another, the ability to interpret such tongues. All these gifts and achievements and abilities are inspired and brought to pass by one and the same Holy Spirit, who apportions to each person individually as he chooses. For just as the body is a unity and yet has many parts, and all the parts, though many, form one body, so it is with the Messiah. For by one Holy Spirit we are all, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, baptised and by baptism united together into one body and all made to drink of one Holy Spirit. There, yeah. so says St Paul. Amen to that. So, um, Paul, of course, is writing his letter to uh, a very new uh, group of people who uh, were following the teachings and example of Jesus and um, and of course Paul was given the uh, the blessed revelation of uh, of Jesus on on his way to Emmaus and he was actually going to persecute 
some of the followers of Jesus he ha he had with him uh, an edict. Uh, you know, basically he was going to cause them a lot of trouble, and uh, instead of that, he was literally blinded by the light, and um, he was told that his blindness would be cured, uh, and he was told where to go, and th this led to Paul's conversion. So Shaul of Tarsus became Paul that we know of, and uh, fortunately for us, for the most part. He wrote many, many letters, and these were saved and recorded. Now, that comes under the heading of a short address. So, now, let us pray for all God's creatures on earth together. Father God, we would now pray for all your creatures on earth and all your creation. We think of all those who know not of you. May the light of your truth shine through the darkness of their ignorance that they come to know and love you and receive from you the love and comfort you have for us all we ask for your healing and comfort for all those who are in trouble sorrow need sickness or any other adversity give guidance to those who are called upon to lead nations and communities that they may lead us in the pathway of peace and govern your children with justice and truth Bless the minister and teachers within your church of all creeds, all, all people of faith. Grant that they be given only the truth, that all your children may be taught of your divine ordinance. We ask for the animal kingdom, that they may receive your love and blessing. Teach humankind to treat them with love and respect as part of your creation. We thank you for our planet Earth and all that is provided for us. Help us to understand our responsibilities in preserving and restoring it, not just for our use, but for those who have yet to walk this earthly pathway. Lastly, Father, we ask for ourselves. Give us the courage and spiritual strength to serve you and be instruments of your truth, love and healing. And all these things we ask in and through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we come to that part of our service, which is uh, truly brings us all closer together and I believe uh, brings us in our earthly selves closer to the source which is spirit and that spirit that is within each one of us. So we say, you that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and and are in love and charity with your neighbours and intend to live a new life following the commandment of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near and take his holy sacrament to your comfort. And we make our humble confessions to our Father God. Dear Father, we acknowledge the many sins we have from time to time committed by thought, word and deed. We are very sorry for our misdoings and ask for your forgiveness. Please give inspiration and strength to correct our wrongdoings. And may our Heavenly Father forgive us our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So. Let me uh, speak to you and say, hear the comforting words Jesus said to all who turn to him. Come unto me, all you that travail and are heavily laden, and I will refresh you. Dear Father, we ask you to bless this bread and wine. Well, <laughs> this is our fruit juice uh, mixed with some water. And this is our bread, and you'll see that we have some uh, 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 we have some uh, ordinary cracker. We have a piece of white bread. We have a little piece of brown bread. It's just representing anything that you may have that you would be able to to bless, because we can all become ministers ourselves, close to God and with Spirit, and we can bless also. And this. 
of course, is a special wafer that is made specially by uh, by nuns in their convent for uh, the purpose of the Holy Sacrament. And uh, we have those too. But you can actually have anything. And how we bless our bread, we place our hand over it and ask the Lord to bless this food to our comfort and healing. There, you see how I'm doing that? You just put your hand over the top of your piece of, of bread and you'll actually feel your hand tingling as you hold it over. And that's the power of the Spirit working through you. And then we take the refreshment. Have, we can have a drop of wine or water, anything that we, we wish, some fruit juice, which this is, put our hand over the top. And the same thing, just say, dear God, please bless, bless this, bless this, this refreshment. Let us take this to our comfort. Thank you, dear Lord. Amen. Yeah, so we have that. And now what we do then, because usually when you go to uh, a meeting to have Holy Communion, it's all ready and prepared for you, isn't it? It's all very lovely because um, the ministers uh, bless everything beforehand. But I'm saying to you that as spiritualists, we understand that we can all channel that spirit and all have that godliness and uh, that's part of, of our lives so we can do it for ourselves so there we are now then uh, what I shall do is now um, with you we will have now our holy communion part of the service now, so I shall say, he who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, eat this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given that thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink you all of this, for this is my blood, which is shed for you and for many. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Usually, the minister will be saying, take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving and with the refreshment, the fluid. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee and be thankful. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thy children lift up our hearts in praise and thanksgiving for this Holy Communion. The gift of love in which our spirits are directly and eternally linked to thee through the blessed fellowship of our Master, Elder Brother and Lord and Saviour Jesus. We most humbly beseech thee so to assist us with thy grace that we may continue in that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we come to the end of our communion service. May you receive the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of our Father God, 
the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and the comfort and inspiration of the Holy Spirit be with us and all those whom we love now and forevermore. Amen. There, there, we come to the end of our, our little communion service at home. I hope that you have felt some comfort, healing and upliftment through this. Um, it's one of the very few services that spiritualists conduct without mediumship, without a demonstration of mediumship, that is, because, of course, nothing we do is done without our loved ones in the world of spirit who attend us at these times because they also take communion with us and we know this to be the truth. So I say God bless to you and yours at this time. I hope that this um, you know, situation that we all find ourselves in isn't getting to you too badly. I hope that if you are unwell, that you have felt a little better after this. And I hope that um, you continue to feel better throughout the day and in the coming days to come, of course. So I'll say God bless you now and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. God bless you.